Welcome to this episode. In this episode, I would like us to learn how to make the delete button active. And that is what I would like us to work on right now. So let us go ahead and uh, dive in and see how we can be able to do that. And so um, for us to be able to make it uh, actionable, we will go to our customers that bled and then we need to have to act or in, that, in other words to have an action on button click which we are going to have wire dot i mean wire full colon click and then this we are going to give the method and the method we can call it delete customer like that but we'll be able to pass in variables so in this case we need to pass in the customer id so here i will uh, do it in a similar way in which we do with the blade uh, variables and we can have customer ID like that so then I need to go and now have a function in this case a method but this method will be on customers class in this case the one that we created in uh, when we were displaying all the customers so you go to the customers class this one and inside here we need a method which we are going to call delete customers so public function delete customer and then now we can be able to have the code for us to enable that we enable us to do deletion of a customer and I think if we are passing in the customer via dependency injection like that we can go ahead and delete the customer directly and say customer delete just like that and then of course we can be able to do the flash messaging which we had previously so i think it is still copied so session flash success customer deleted customer deleted successfully like that so let me just open it up like that and then um, sort of if we do return redirect it will just reload that page and then our deleted customer will be able to disappear of course there are so many ways in which you can be able to do this you can also uh, go ahead and we can also be able to achieve this by using the refresh method so in this case we can just say customers refresh and it will be able to refresh uh, the page for us but even this one will just work fine so let us uh, refresh and attempt so when we say delete you can see now we only have one record one of them has been deleted so if we create maybe we want James and then James Kamau maybe at gmail.com and then the phone number obviously for for validation of phone you can be able to check the digits that uh, the number of maximum digits that can can be allowed within a specific um, region then you can be able to use that but i think that one is as good as it goes if we delete this one also you'll find that the customer is deleted thank you very much for following this trolley video up until this point